Hi everyone! Um, this is the second part of a declutter, I guess, series that I'm doing. Um, I previous, previously did my eyeshadow palettes and now we're getting into lipsticks. Um, now, I have an obscene amount of lipsticks. I'll post a picture in the comments of this video. Uh, I would say I go between eight of them. I probably could get rid of most of these. and. Some of these aren't even open or were hardly used. So the ones that weren't used, I'm going to be um, donating. Again, girls, um, if you have any gently used makeup, and I'm not talking about like concealers or things like that, but I'm talking about like a blush that you used a couple of times that you don't use anymore, or an eyeshadow palette that you used a couple of times and you don't use anymore, or even a lipstick that you used once. Um, we, we, I could always um, alcohol the top and give it away to somebody. But again, nothing that's like half used or anything like that. Please message me and let me know because I'm putting together a nice little pack, nice little, nice big package to give away to um, people in need. So I am going to get right to it. We're just going to be cutthroat here because I really know the lipsticks that I tend to go for more than others. Um, can we just get right to it? Yes, let's get right to it. Okay. I guess I'm going to like clump some together, if they're, especially if they're from the same brand. Um, these Rimmel Show Off Longwear Lipsticks, uh, I was a big fan of these for a long, long time, and I just don't use them anymore. It's a gorgeous formula and it really does last long. I don't even know if they sell it in drugstores anymore, but uh, I don't use these, so I am going to be... I probably cannot give these away. There's, these are a little old. Yeah, I'm gonna throw these out. So these are in my collection, no more. Okay, next, ooh, that was fun. Um, let's go to the um, e.l.f. matte lip colors. These are also really nice and really long wearing. Um, I don't know why I just don't use them. And I did use them a lot, so I am gonna throw them out. I'm not giving these away. Um, the colors are really nice, and if you're looking for inexpensive lipsticks, e.l.f. makes nice ones, so check them out. These are the e.l.f. matte lip colors. Uh, this color is rich red. That's that, which is really pretty. And this one is wine, which is like a little whinier than red. So these I'm going to throw out. This is fun already. Okay, should we get into Maybelline lipsticks? Because I have a bunch of those, yeah. Let me collect them all. Okay, so Maybelline, I for sure have more of these, no? Maybe somewhere. Maybelline lipsticks, um, I would say from the drugstore are some of my favorites, but since I've been getting other lipsticks, I've kind of pushed these to the back burner. I don't wear any of these anymore, but I'm gonna read you the names in case you're interested. This one is Blushing Bud, a nice springy color, but I don't wear that, and it's actually in decent condition. I don't think I use that a lot. This one is in Nude Nuance. That's that. Also, I think I wore it one time. I'm gonna alcohol these up. Uh, this is Lust for Blush in a lipstick form. I use this a lot, so this is going to be thrown out. Uh, this one is Mauve It. That's pretty. Use that once or twice. But as you can see, there's a pattern to all these colors. I like the nudes or the like, that's also stunning. What's this? This is brownish blush. Pretty color, hardly used. We're gonna give these four away. Again, these Maybelline lipsticks from the drugstore are great quality, I just, I just don't wear them. These are Color Whispers. I don't even know if they still sell these, but um, their Color Lust for Blush is one of my favorites. Um, this is like a really sheer, a sheer formula, but it's just so comfortable. I have two of them and I'm going to keep both. Yeah, they are both. I'm going to keep both because I keep this in my bag and it's just good for the summer. It doesn't feel like a heavy lipstick um, and it's just comfortable and it just gives like a nice shine to the lips. So Lust for Blush Color Whispers. Maybe you can find these on Amazon. Um, these are really comfortable. Lust for Blush is the color. Okay, this NARS, uh, what is this? This is a satin lip pencil. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I used this. This is extremely old. We're going to be throwing you out. Bye. Okay, this is gonna be a little sad because at one point I was really into these lipsticks. I think I'm gonna save these for the last because this is like a whole story in itself. Okay, uh, this matte lipstick from NYX, what color was this? Shocking Pink. I wore this for quite some time, but it's not the color type of color you wear every day, but it's a little old, so I'm going to be throwing it out. 
just missed the garbage. Okay, these are a new purchase and already I don't wear them, but I'm going to keep one of them just to test out. These are the ColourPop, um, what are these? You know, they're Luxe lipsticks. So this one is called Unraveled and it is pretty. I think I'm going to keep this one for now. I might get rid of it, but for now I'm keeping it. Money Side Up. I tried this on. This color looks horrendous on me, but it was a one-time test. I'm going to be alcoholing that and giving that away. And this is Appy, uh, an extremely nude nude, probably for somebody with a light skin tone it would look great on. Again, this was swatched. This wasn't even like totally tried on. I'm going to alcohol that and get that away. Ooh, that pile's getting nice. Okay, this Bobbi Brown lipstick I got in one of these... Um, you know, Sephora boxes, and this color is called Brocade. It's the Luxe lip color, and it's beautiful. But again, I wore this, I think, one time, so I'm going to be giving this away. I don't love dark colors in a cream or satin formula because I feel like it moves around, so that's t not really for me, but it would be for somebody. This Makeup Revolution lipstick, oh, I forgot about this. It doesn't even have a color, does it? Yeah, it's called Crime, and I'm going to give this away because this, I don't even know if I used it. I don't know pretty color um, what's this this is an urban decay lipstick this is a matte a regular matte lipstick from the old packaging it's called after dark and it's all twisted and like really gnarly in there so bye bye uh, this urban decay lipstick is a matte and it's called menace uh, now they reformulated them uh, the mattes they could be mega mattes or comfort mattes but this one is still beautiful. I'm going to keep Menace because it's one of my favorite Urban Decay lipsticks. Um, what's this? Oh, where's the other one? Here it is. Wow, Ruffy. What's going on with you lately? Is this it? Yeah. Okay. This Urban Decay lipstick is the newer packaging, and this is a comfort matte. It's called Back Talk. And as you can see, it is well loved. So I am going to keep that. And I do have a backup of Back Talk. Do I? Yes. Um, this is the new packaging. So in case you're wondering, in store, Back Talk, one of my favorite colors. I'm just going to swatch it quickly just so you can see. It's just so pretty. Look. Isn't that nice? Um, that I... Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Whew, here you are. Okay. I'm going to be keeping that for sure. Uh, this Urban Decay lipstick, this is like the old packaging. This is the color Naked. I did wear this for quite some time, but every time I wore it, I wasn't so excited with it, but it is old, so I'm going to be throwing it out. Yay. This is my one and only MAC lipstick. Now, I don't know if I'm the only one out there, but MAC lipsticks make me um, break out around my mouth. I get like a little rash. There is something in this formula that doesn't agree with me. Am I allergic to lipstick? I don't know, but this was, what is it? Sat oh, it's MAC Red. Um, ugh, funny. It's been used a lot going in the garbage. Can't get it. I'm not giving away a lipstick that looks like that to somebody and you see my flyaways. Okay. This is, uh, what is this? This is a Too Faced lipstick. Um, this is in Pitch Perfect. I bought this not long ago and it's really pretty. However, I have a ColourPop lipstick that looks almost similar. This is a little more magenta, but I'm not keeping both. Okay, I'm going to give this one away and I'm going to keep the Too Faced because I know the formula of the Too Faced lipsticks is nice. <gasps> wow, cutthroat really. Awesome. Okay, uh, this uh, Milani lipstick in Nude Creme, is that what it is? Yeah, number 26. A great nude color, but hmm. these lipsticks smell like Watermelon Jolly Ranchers and I don't like Watermelon Jolly Ranchers. So I think I am going to... I think I want to throw this out. This is old. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, some of these little lipsticks I got in like one of those Sephora packages, you know, like the give me some lip or something, and I don't wear them all, so I'm just going to get rid of some. They're all good, but I just don't need them. I don't just, I don't go for them. This is a YSL lipstick in number 01, and this is a gorgeous like blue tone red. I don't look good in blue tone red, so we're going to give that away. This is an Urban Decay Metal, oh, Metallicide, Metal. Metallize, 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 lipstick in Big Bang, and this is this gorgeous glittery pink. I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear it, but maybe I will. No, probably not. <gasps> Giving it away. 
Okay, this is a Small Bite Beauty Amuse Bouge Lipstick in Honeycomb. And this I used a lot, but this color washes me out. I am throwing this away. It's really used. Okay, um, this Huda Beauty Liquid Matte, um, as everybody knows, I do not wear uh, liquid lipsticks. I just don't like them, so I'm going to be giving this unused Huda Beauty Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick. This Tarte Tardis Lip Paint, I got this, I think it was for my birthday. Oh, it's not even used. Yeah, I never wear this, so I'm just gonna give this away. This is in the color birthday suit. Yeah, it was part of like a birthday gift. Okay, this Hourglass um, Small Little uh, Influencer Lipstick in Girl, or is it, I don't know if it's Girl or Influencer, but it's a gorgeous nude and I like to wear this because it's very comfortable. So I'm going to keep this. It's my first nude lipstick that I'm keeping. Okay, what's this? This is a, is this Laura Mercier? Yeah, a mini Laura Mercier Velour Lover's Lip Color in Sensual. And I just don't look good in these colors. So that's the only reason why I'm not keeping it. But again, hardly used. We're gonna give that away. This is a new lipstick purchase and I'm super excited about it. Um, it's my first NARS lipstick ever, shockingly. I don't know what took me so long, but this is in the color Anna, and I already wore it quite a few times. That's Anna over there. Oh, everything is so similar. It's just the colors I like. There's nothing I could do about it. Very similar to Back Talk from Urban Decay, but the formula on this is great, and watch. Watch. Ah! Love that. So I am keeping Anna from NARS. Um, this is an Anastasia Matte Lipstick in Dead Roses. I was super into this when I first got it, but I haven't been wearing it. And I think I'm going to give it away because it's a great formula and I would love for somebody to get use out of this. Yes. Okay. Then I have these two. These are new purchases. These are the Color Riche Shine lipsticks from L'Oreal. Stay put. Everything's rolling away. Um, I have one in the color Varnished Rosewood. Never used, but I just don't reach for it. I don't know why I got it. But I do have one in the color 900 Glossy Fawn, which is like a great nude but I would either wear it alone but it's really nice on top of a nude lipstick just to make it a little more comfortable and a little shinier so I'm gonna keep this one okay getting there uh, this Too Faced lip injection glossy uh, juicy lip color in Spice Girl I am going to get rid of I just don't reach for it so getting rid of it this dose of color brand new lipstick still in the package I used to wear this all the time. I had one in my makeup bag, in my like bag that I take with me every day. Beautiful color, but I just don't reach for it. So somebody's gonna be getting a nice, fresh dose of color lipstick. These two powder puffs, although they're nice, um, I think I'm really only gonna keep like one or two bright pinks. Like I don't need so many. It's not like I go through them all the time. So I'm just like really being honest with myself. I'm going to get rid of this. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this too. Don't wear it, I just don't wear it. Um, okay, these two Maybelline um, Superstay Matte Inks, I do like them, but I find that I reach for this one more than this one, so I'm going to get rid of this orange one, orangey red, which is called uh, Heroin. Somebody's going to get used out of that, but I will keep this one. Again, it's all the colors that I normally like, mauve -y. yeah. Okay, this is a story in itself. So, speaking of NARS... Uh, they reformulated and repackaged the NARS lip glosses, and this is in Turkish Delight, I think. Is it? No, it's in Chelsea Girls. Uh, the only thing is that this leaks so bad, and it just, I can't even put it in my makeup drawer because then it gets that goopiness all over all my lipsticks. So I don't want to give this to somebody, it's just going to make a mess of all their stuff, so I'm going to throw out this NARS lip gloss before I throw it out. It's really pretty. Sorry, see you go, but you're going. Okay, this Buxom lip gloss, I don't think I ever wore. It's called Berry Blast. I'm gonna give this away. I don't know what I thought buying a hot pink lip gloss. Not anything that looks good on me at all. Okay, this is the NYX Butter Gloss. If anybody has missed this in the drugstore or in Ulta or in Target, pick these up. These are so comfortable and perfect for the summer. This is in the color creme brulee and I have a backup creme brulee, but I'm keeping both of them because they're just so comfortable. You know what? No, I'm going to give a fresh one away and when I finish that one, I'll just buy a new one. So somebody's going to get an awesome NYX uh, butter gloss and creme brulee. Creme brulee. 
Okay, next we have a couple of things that I never really used. The Sephora Beauty Amplifier, it's a lip plumper, but I just don't use it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is so exciting because this giveaway pile is amazing. And this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in vintage. I wore this, I don't even know if I wore it one time. I think I swatched it in the store and bought it and never wore it, but it's really pretty. That's that. But I'm gonna give this away. So somebody's gonna get an Anastasia lip gloss. Um, okay, so now I have a few, okay. This Dior Addict Lip Maximizer, I'm gonna keep. I don't know why, but I'm just in the mood of it. No, giving it away. Okay, this uh, Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in K-Dub. It's a beautiful color. I just, I don't reach for it. Look how pretty that is. Come on, it's so pretty. But I'm gonna give it away. Somebody can have a good time with that. This little mini Sephora, um, this, what are these? The cream lip stains. Um, this is in 01. I don't know what the color is. It's red, but I'm gonna give this away. Um, I do love this formula though. I am gonna go into Sephora or order online the cream lip stains in a, maybe like one or two um, different colors in a larger size. They're inexpensive, but they last really well. Okay, I'm just gonna get a couple more. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get into this now because we gotta talk about ColourPop. So, as everybody knows, I was very into ColourPop. I, I feel like I bought any time something came out, like whether it was the lippy sticks, the lippy pencils, the, the um, ultra glossy lips, the ultra satin lips. I didn't buy the ultra mattes though, that I wouldn't buy. But to be totally, totally honest with you, and we're being honest here, I'm only keeping things that I find I reach for the most. Okay, we're doing this. Um, this ultra glossy lip, uh, what color is this, Bestie? I had this forever, it looks chunky and disgusting inside, so I'm throwing that out. But this color is beautiful. This is called Panda, and this is an ultra satin lip from ColourPop. It's a beautiful color. I just, it's like such a dark purple, you see that? I just don't wear it. So I'm going to give it away. Huh. And this is an ultra glossy lip in Finders Keepers. The formula, ew, broke up so bad. Look at that, I'm throwing that out. Nobody deserves that at all. Let's get into the ColourPop box, and I'm just gonna be cutthroat here because I know what I used and I know what I didn't use. So let me just, what do I, I have like a million lippy pencils. I don't use them ever, ever. Okay, let's get right to it. We're just gonna be really cutthroat here with all these lippy pencils. I am going to keep, is this a Frenchie? Okay, it's a fresh new one. I'm gonna keep a Frenchie, which is a red lip liner. I don't normally, okay, can I keep this? The cap doesn't wanna stay on. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna keep one red one. It's always good to have a red lip liner. Um, what's this one? Oh, there's another Frenchie. Oh, this is an old Frenchie. Garbage. I'm gonna give the rest of these away. I do not need any of these. I never reach for these, so somebody could get use out of them. I hope, I hope. Okay, I feel like I used to have more lippy sticks, but I maybe like got mad one day that I didn't like them and I threw them out. But these are the ones that I have, and guys, can I be totally honest with you here? I'm getting choked up. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna keep Frenchie. <coughs> oh! I'm gonna keep Frenchie to match the lippy pencil. I'm giving away the rest. I'm giving away the rest. I don't wear them. I am trying to be honest with myself here, guys. I don't wear them. So I'm not keeping lipsticks that I don't wear. Like in a way, my mindset has changed. Like I'd rather buy one or two NARS lipsticks that I'll wear all the time than have $405 lipsticks that I'll never wear. You know what I mean? We're trying to downsize here and benefit other people in the process. Okay, this uh, Smashbox Instamat, which makes any lipstick matte, I never use. I'm gonna give that away. This is the, um, oh, Elf Exfoliator. This one is a fresh one. I'm gonna keep that one. It's just good in case your lips are a little um, iwi. You could just scrub them up and get them all ready for lipstick. This is a Bite Lip Primer, I think. Yeah, it is. I'll give it away. It was okay, but I just, I, I think I used it one time. So we're gonna give that away. Now let's talk 
lip pencils. I know I didn't even know I had this many, honestly. And half of them are the same color. But I will be keeping the this NYX. Uh, what is this? Slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner. And this is in the color Disco Rage, a hot pink. I'm gonna keep one hot pink lip pencil. And I'm going to keep the NYX Slide On Glide On in Nude Suede Shoes, which is like a nudie lip color. Stay on the table. Didn't stay on the table. And I'm going to keep... I don't... Okay, I'm going to keep this Huda Lip Contour Beauty Pencil in Trophy Wife. Pretty color. We'll keep that one. And I think, guys... I don't believe this. Oh, some of these are new. A lot of NYX ones. Oh, this Morphe one was pretty. I'll keep this. This is the color Foolish. This is a pretty color. Yeah, I'll keep that one. That one right there. That's pretty. We'll keep this pencil. And I think that's it. I'm giving the rest of these away. And the last thing is this uh, Skin Fix Flavor Free Lip Repair Balm, which I'm going to keep. It's just good to moisturize the lips. Guys, this felt so good. This felt so good. I am so happy that I got rid of all this, and I'm happy that people are going to be um, happy to be getting these. Um, but it's good to declutter. It makes you just feel lighter, and you have to be honest with yourself. I'm being honest with myself. I don't wear half of the lipsticks I have. So I didn't want to just collect and have them just, you know, take up drawer space. So we have an empty drawer now. We're just gonna have to fill up again. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was fun for me. Um, maybe next we'll do some concealers and face stuff. Maybe like a face, like powders, concealers, like all those in one. But again, um, if you guys have anything you want to donate, makeup wise, uh, brushes that you don't use, anything, please send me a message. I want to get this together soon, you know, before people leave to the country and things like that and we could get this to girls that can benefit from this. Uh, so again, message me with whatever you have and I'll let you know where to drop it off or where to mail it if it's easier for you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all. I love you, Daddy. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.